So let's talk about copyrights and publishing. Once you write your music and commit it to a format that can be shared, it now has a copyright. But what is a copyright? Copyright grants exclusive rights to the creator of the work. Section 106 of the Copyright Act of 1976 grants five exclusive rights to copyright holders. They are one, the right to reproduce or copy the work into copies. Two, the right to create derivative works of the original work. Three, the right to distribute copies of the work to the public for sale, lease, or rental. Four, the right to perform the work publicly. And five, the right to display the work publicly. The act was amended in 1995 to include a sixth exclusive right. The right to perform a sound recording by means of digital audio. Remember, once you write it, you are protected under current copyright law. Now you may want to register your music with the Copyright Office if you are planning to pitch it to a major artist or other music professionals. Remember, you do not need to register with Copyright.gov to prove you created the work. That is already covered by current law. Having a Copyright.gov filing will help you collect legal fees. Okay, so after you've secured your copyright, what's next? What about music publishing? Do you pay a license to a software company to use their product? In other words, you pay for the right to use the product every time you open it. It's a royalty paid to the company that owns the software. Music publishers work in a similar way. The publisher makes sure you are getting paid for your work every time it's used. A publisher is an agent for your music. A publisher secures other uses for your music. To other artists, movies, TV shows, any place that your music might be appropriate. A publisher collects royalties and administers your music in any and all media outlets. And it's a lot of work. There are thousands of music publishing companies and they exploit music catalogs all over the world. Whether you need to be your own publisher depends a lot on your business skills. Do you enjoy highly detailed work that has nothing to do with making music? Music publishing is the nuts and bolts of your musical world. It is the commercial engine that drives your income. To put it another way, your songwriting royalties might buy you that new car, but your publishing royalties will pay for the gas to run it. When you own your own publishing, you have control over 100% of your music. So when opportunity rings your doorbell, you'll be able to negotiate with confidence that you and you alone are making the decision to sell your music. So if you want to dive in, here are a few basic steps to get you started. As always, with any legal documents, please have a qualified music business attorney authenticate your intentions. Do a name search for your company. Register your company with your state registrar. Then open a checking account in your company's name. Join a performance rights organization, commonly referred to as a PRO. The three main rights organizations in the United States are ASCAP, BMI, and CSAC. Do your research as to which of these will be best fit for you. Now here's how the money flows. First you create the music. It's copywritten. Then the publisher will negotiate to own your copyright. The music gets sold as the publisher collects cash for use in television, artist recordings, sheet music sales, soundtrack sales, media uses. The publisher administers and negotiates mechanical royalties and synchronization fees or sync fees. Performance rights organization collects cash for public performances and the PRO distributes cash to writers and publishers. The bottom line is this. If you register your music as a writer with a PRO, you will collect money and royalties for any public performance that is tracked by the PRO. Some PROs even have a live venue system. You can actually collect royalties from your own music as you play it live, if the venue is also registered with the performance rights organization. So, if you are your own publisher, you will collect 100% of your royalties. But it's a complicated job. Do your research, read interviews with other artists, and other music makers that have done this, and in the resources section, 
I have a music and audio links page that has a lot of places to visit for more information about this subject. So those are the basics. In the next lecture, we'll review what you have learned in the first section of this course, The Complete Musician, Music Tools. And it's on to recording your music using all the tools we have available today.